Angela Scorpio and welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. This is a weekly reading for Scorpio from the 17th to the 23rd of September 2018. Please don't forget to watch your moon and rising sign uh, for a complete picture. If you want a personal reading, I've put the details of my website and my email address in the description box. So please don't forget to uh, visit my website and, and co contact me. Uh, the decks I've used, I've put in the description box as well, and I've put links to Amazon and eBay if you want to purchase these decks. So please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and, thank, and um, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Okay, so I'm just going to do the general uh, energy read. I have shuffled this deck, and I'm just going to draw some cards for the general energy read. Okay, so the first card is Wisdom, so you might be involved in some sort of studying at the moment. You've got the man in the book, and you're spending a lot of time with this information. You could be doing some research. It doesn't necessarily mean books. It could be just, you know, on a computer, but definitely a lot of information is coming to you. Um, there could be spiritual insights as well. So you've got this um, eye over here, so you could be opening your third eye as well. Maybe this Wisdom that you're, you're you, you could be doing some sort of spiritual studies as well. But maybe you, whatever uh, wisdom you're getting is opening um, your intuition pathway up so that you know you are getting all this information and you're being able to act with it. There's some uh, surprise coming in for you, some letter, some news. Maybe you're waiting for it, but this information, um, some sort of letter is coming, some, some uh, new information is coming in for you. So maybe this, there's new information coming in for you, new, a new letter, a new message. And it's going to give you a lot of information and that's going to, you know, allow you to act more psychically, more spiritually um, in, in doing whatever you do, um, in how you handle things. So in the past, you've got a battle and new beginnings. So you've had some sort of um, conflict situation going in where you had to stand your ground. So here you've got the man standing his ground with his hand in his gun. You are in a very defensive position at this particular moment, but you are standing up for what you believe in. That's been happening in the last three months or so. And that's led to new beginnings. So maybe you've left behind somebody, you stood your ground, you told them to piss off, <laughs> bugger off. And, uh, and now you've started something new. <laughs> you started something new and you're moving forward with it. So some new project that you've come in after having some sort of conflict with somebody. And maybe this new um, beginning has, you know, meant that uh, you had to go and do some research and find out about how to go about doing things. And it's also given you the insight and the wisdom to do things, um, having gone through this conflict that you had. So coming for the future, you've got the abundance card, which is excellent. You've got the world in your hand over here, and you've got a lot of clarity coming in. So whatever happened has brought uh, wisdom, is going to be bringing a lot of abundance in, and it's brought you, it's going to bring in a lot of clarity into your situation. So all in all, pretty good rely on your intuition uh you need to do that and act on your gut instincts don't bother to ask anybody what to do you do what you need to do so um i have shuffled this deck i'm just going to draw some cards So the main energies of the cards is the lovers. So you've got a choice that you are going to be making soon uh, or you're in the middle of making a choice, a decision on what uh, you should be doing right now. So this is a turning point card. I see it as um, you have to pick something that you want and you are being divinely guided and don't look to people to make that choice because she's looking to this uh, lover of hers, but not to the angel. And actually she should be looking to the angel for advice. So do not look to other people because you know they might lead you astray it's not something that you really want to um th the advice will not be something that's going to be very beneficial to you so rather make the choice based on what you decide rather than what they've got to say it's very important that you make a decision based on something that you love to do rather than what anybody else has got to say at this particular moment so you got um, a card of the um, Six of Swords moving away from all these thoughts of negativity, crossing that bridge and moving to something more spiritual, more enlightened. You can see swords changing colors here from green to purple. So you are moving away from that materialistic point of view into something more spiritual. And you're taking your branch. So you're moving with action. You're taking your ideas and you're going. This is your ideas. You're taking it and you're walking away. You're crossing that bridge, crossing the water. 
you could be moving home, you could be traveling, you could be changing locations, you could be crossing water and moving away from it, but into a better place because you've got all the abundance here with no abundance there. So your ideas, you're going to a better place. Right now, you may feel like you've had to, you, you, you may feel like you have to make a sacrifice in order to make this transition, this movement. So something that you have to give up. Uh, maybe there's some stability that you will be giving up in order for you to make this. But it'll bring you a lot of new spiritual insights as well. And you are being guided. So if you can see on both sides, on the right-hand side over here, you've got these, this angel here and you've got abundance here. So whatever transition you make, from the past to the future is going to be, and you're going to have to probably make a sacrifice in order to do that transition. It's going to be divinely guided. This angel is guiding you into what to do and you will take your ideas and go as well. So in the past, you've got temperance. You've been trying to lead a really balanced life. Maybe you've been healing from an illness in the last year or so. You've been trying to preserve yourself, trying to preserve your faith, trying to keep the faith and trying and hoping for this new brand new future to come in. So you've got a vision and you want that to come and you've been trying to keep everything in balance and trying to heal from whatever happened. There was a lot of chaos in the past, but now you're healing from it and you're drawing from yourself to heal. And um, in the last um, three months, you've got a, a bit of juggling going on over here. So, you know, maybe juggling time, juggling effort, juggling money. Uh, you know, maybe you have got two options that you are trying to consider which one is the best one to do and you're really not quite sure what to do over here. So you try to make a decision as well. So with this card of the lovers and with the card of this juggling, maybe you've got two jobs or something that you have to choose between which job to go and do. And you are looking to the past. You can see this person is looking to the past to make your mind up about which particular job you want to do. So a decision coming in, it's not coming to the point where you have to make that decision. But in the last few months, this option has been offered to you and now you're trying to decide what to do next. And, uh, you know, you've been looking to the past um, for ideas and inspirations. This person has got the two of rods looking to the past. A new idea was presented to you. So you were, you had an idea, but something new came in. And now, and maybe that new thing that's come in has brought in this prospect of travel, movement, going away, starting something new somewhere else. Um, maybe in the east, because you've got this rising sun over here the land of the rising sun. So maybe a new idea, a new prospect, a new job proposal coming far away from home where you're going to have to need to travel and you are now considering that option at this particular moment. And you are now, um, you want this new emotional cup to come in for you. So that is what you're working on. You have taken a new stand as far as what you believe in, what you want, and you're longing for something better. You're longing for love. You're longing for new emotional beginnings. So the Ace of Cups showing that you are beginning a new emotional cycle and that is what you are attracting into your energy field this new emotional cycle so that's what it says the new beginnings of emotions are being attracted something brand new being attracted by you You're putting out all the the, um, the signs that you want that to come in and this dove is coming to you so something new is coming in for you the emperor you are very much in charge of what you do you are a person who is in uh, knows what they want um, this is also a card that's ruled by um, Mars Aries so that is you. You are the person that's in charge and it looks like there is travel that is going on around you. A lot of uh, prosperity with the green over here. A lot of authority, a lot of determination and uh, organization going on with this Emperor card. And a lot of bun abundance. Usually the Emperor card doesn't have abundance, but this particular deck does have an Emperor with a lot of abundance. And you've got, um, uh, I think this, these are lilies probably, uh, which shows there's a long-term uh, advancement. There's a long-term um, accumulation so something that is going to be solid stable and last you so um, you are a person that is somebody of authority and taking charge and you're very victorious in whatever you do all your ideas are seen as very good with the seven of um, the six of rods uh, you're managing to put down roots so your ideas are taking root and they are bringing stability this new sunrise over here um, you've got all these you you've put down ideas and you still got Plenty more ideas and uh, these ideas are going to bring you a lot of abundance and a lot of people are going to take a lot of recognition because this is a card of recognition and rewards. Um, you might be working with a lot of people, but definitely whatever you've put down, people think is marvelous, absolutely brilliant. So you are going to be, uh, that's how people are seeing you, a person with a lot of ideas and something that is, you know, you can root your ideas, put your ideas into the ground and they will grow and produce abundance and you're a person with plenty more ideas. So a lot of recognition and people really seeing you also as a person of authority. You are taking charge and you are presenting all of this. So really a card of victory. Um, 
in your situation. Um, and you've got the 10 of rods, so you want all this hard work and problems and responsibilities and burdens you want that all to be over with now you that's what you're hoping for that you know the autumn of your life is finished and now you can move forward so that's your hopes you just want this hard work and slog to end and that's what you want to what you're working towards so going into the future you've got the empress you've got the five and you've got the four um, for four of pentacles, the five of rods, and the empress cards. The empress cards showing that a lot of abundance, creativity, you're on top of your game. Uh, you can see a lot of abundance coming in. The transformation card over there, and you are ruling the roost. So you're telling people what it is um, and how to do things, and they are seeing you as a person who is very um, prosperous and somebody uh, who's very creative and somebody who they... Um, she is, after all, the queen of all the queens in the deck, so she's in charge. And she's very politically minded as well, but she doesn't step on anybody's toes, so she's not somebody who's a bully. So, uh, And it's a card ruled by Venus, so you are doing it. To, if you're in charge of people, you're handling them with kit gloves. And, uh, you know, she's very maternal, so that's probably how you're coming across at this particular moment. So somebody that is going to reach their abundance level. And you can see with this five uh, of rods, I know it's a card that always talks about conflict, but it shows that you're taking your ideas and you're moving with it. So you've had a lot of good ideas that have got a lot of growth on it, and they're at the helm of your boat, and you are moving away from it. So uh, taking your ideas and going away from whatever situation you have. So maybe you will move jobs, you will move places, and you will take this new idea or this new enterprise and go and start it somewhere else but you're taking your ideas with you and you're sailing away from an old situation it looks like you are sailing towards a, a stability uh, a thing so you're going to go and take your ideas and start it off afresh somewhere else it seems and uh, here you are with the uh, four of pentacles um, you know you are have got um, you are spending a lot of uh, time uh, involved in maybe the manipulation of money so you are trying to juggle jobs as well and uh, you've got something that you've um, He's standing on these pentacles showing that, you know, you, you've got stability of your job. Your job is stable, but you are going to launch something based on that job. So something new being launched by you with the old job as the basis for which you will job, uh, launch this new prospect. There's still uh, some obstacles to launching this new project that you have because you've got this um, barrier here. But you can see there's... Uh, it's more like a balustrade so you can see through it so it's not really quite an obstacle you can see through it you can see what's coming in the future there is stability if you look through here there is this castle coming through here so you, there is stability um, and you can see the future you have plans for the future but um, it, it, you've got you've got still you've got to sort out some issues with it still this old job that you have or the job that you're in is going to act as the base the foundation and you will launch something new uh, into the future so and new money will come in with that so here you are taking an idea so maybe you are taking whatever ideas you are going starting something somewhere else which looks like exactly what's happening over here um, so starting a new project somewhere else it seems but you still got your feet in the ground with the old uh, old job or whatever it is is acting as your anchor uh, but you are going with your new ideas and starting something new. So maybe you're going to launch something new, starting a new job somewhere else, um, making, maybe you're getting promoted and you have to go and move somewhere else because even this card talks about movement somewhere else. And like I said, uh, with the sun, it's somewhere in the east maybe. Um, so that's probably where you're going to be going. So maybe relocating to do this job and maybe this is what um, this lover's card is. And you can see the sun is there as well. So maybe this is uh, a new job um, in an easterly direction or somewhere in the east where you will be uh, starting this new position um, and it's going to bring you a lot of abundance and happiness as well with this ace of cups so i'm going to just draw some cards from the um, animal tarot i have shuffled this deck so you've got the ten of summer tens are always endings of cycles time to express your love and appreciation for family um, be it relatives or our children's fam chosen family of close friends, congratulations may be in order on a happy, uh, fulfilling marriage as well as raising happy, balanced children. So you, you've achieved a lot of emotional stability as well, but you're going to be starting a new cycle. Maybe you've come through some emotional problems. The rainbows always come after storms, um, but it shows there's a promise of hope. So something old has ended, an old emotional cycle ending, and... Uh, you're going to be starting something really new. There might be a soul connection that you have with somebody. 
that could be what you're going through and you know spending a lot more time with family it seems uh, the eight of autumn says the parrot it's a perfect time to learn all you can about returning by returning to school taking a seminar or conducting research do your best work and the law of attraction will bring you prosperity and career advancement so you have to do some research some uh, new information that you have to get you have to go in and um, learn something with this eight of autumn in order to promote yourself so whatever new project you're having to do now make sure that you're well researched on it don't leave anything to chance um, because that's the way you're going to maintain your authority. And the last card is the Four of Torches, which says responsibilities may distract you from uh, noticing all the gifts God is presenting to you. Be open to um, investigating opportunities that come your way. So the Four of Summers says make sure that you are um, looking at all the possibilities. And you do have, um, where is this card? The last card is the four of summer is the same as the four of pentacles so maybe there are two opportunities that present yourself present themselves to you so don't uh, ignore these two opportunities that come but also you know this is also launching new opportunities as well launching new projects so be aware that you've got two fours ending the, the, the read so there is that possibility that you will be uh, launching something new or uh, having to make a choice about what to do but definitely something new uh, being launched over here uh, and, um, and this card with the fourth summer says there's no new opportunities coming your way as well so uh, d making a need to, to make a decision based on what you want to do rather than listening to anybody else and it looks like there's something new coming in for you a new prospect you might have a move uh, um, to start a new project somewhere else that is also a possibility so I hope that this reading has resonated with you and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and leave me a comment if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.